Hey everyone, welcome back to Geography with Mrs Nguani. Today we're going to be looking at grid referencing or position coordinates. Both of those terms mean the same thing. Grid referencing or position coordinates are used to find exact location and it's where a line of latitude and a line of longitude cross or intersect each other. In grade 8 in the first term you studied the earth and you learned a little bit more about latitude and longitude so we're going to do a quick little revision of that. Latitude and longitude lines are imaginary lines. We don't see random lines drawn across the earth. They are just used to help us find exact location because the earth is so big. So for latitude lines they run from east to west and they measure distance north and south of the equator. So the equator is the main latitude line that we use to measure from. They are parallel to each other and the lines are not the same in length. At the equator, the lines are longer, whereas at the poles, they get shorter. Longitude lines run from north to south and they measure distance east and west of the prime meridian or the Greenwich meridian and they are not parallel to each other. Um, the lines are the same length, but they all run from north to south. Okay, it's important to know the difference between latitude and longitude lines when we are doing position coordinates, because latitude always comes first. So with latitude lines, those are the ones that run across the earth, longitude lines are the ones that run down. And the way that I remember it is saying lat and flat, so the latitude lines are the flat lines that run across the earth. Okay, now going into position coordinates and how we write them and how we find them. We use degrees, minutes and seconds. The minutes and seconds are not anything to do with time. <laughs> they are just the unit that we use for coordinates. Degrees always comes first, then minutes, then seconds. The reason why we have degrees, minutes and seconds is because the difference between two degrees on the earth is about 111 kilometers so that's still very far you're not going to find accurate an accurate position if you're using only degrees and the same for minutes the minutes the gap between two minutes on the earth is around two kilometers almost um, and then for seconds it's much closer so that's why we use seconds in order to get the exact location that we're looking for we have a little formula of how to write coordinates, and that is something degrees, something minutes, something seconds south, something degrees, something minutes, something seconds east. That is the formula that you use every single time you're asked to write coordinates. We only use south and east in South Africa. So because you get given South African maps in your tests, your directions will always be south and east. But say, for example, you've got a map of North America, some, um, some map of somewhere in North America, then your direction would be north and west because it's north of the equator and west of the Greenwich Meridian or Prime Meridian. So for South Africa, you will always use south and east. Okay, so let's look at this practically. The coordinates for Ponte Tower in Johannesburg is 26 degrees, 11 minutes and 25 seconds south and the longitude is 28 degrees 3 minutes and 25 seconds east. You'll see here that we have 0, 3 for the longitude and that's because we need six numbers for each direction. So if you ever have a unit from 1 to 10 you always put a 0 in front of it um, because there always needs to be six numbers. An important thing with coordinates is that we always need to put latitude first. That's why I was saying earlier it's so important to know the difference between latitude and longitude. It's very easy to get mixed up between them when you're working with a map. So make sure that latitude always comes first, the flat lines. Okay, some important notes is that there are 60 minutes in one degree and there are 60 seconds in one minute. That is important for when we are going to be working out the seconds because the Degrees and minutes are easy because those are given on the map, but the seconds we always have to work out and that's what we're going to be looking at just now. But it's important to remember that latitude will always have a north or south for the direction. Like I said, in South Africa we always use south and longitude will have east or west. In South Africa we always use east. Now that we've learned the difference between latitude and longitude, now we can look at how we actually find the coordinates. 
So we're going to be looking at A first, but let's write out our formula so that we remember something degrees, something minutes, something seconds south, something degrees, something minutes, something seconds east. Okay, so now the degrees and minutes are easy to find. Like I said, those are given to you on the map, but we need to find the seconds. Let's look at the degrees and minutes first, and then we'll go into the seconds later. These are just two very simple examples. Um, because A and B are exactly on minutes lines, we're not going to have any seconds. But in the next examples, I'll show you how to work out the seconds. Okay, so we're going to be looking at latitude first, because remember I said latitude always comes first. And I've done pink lines for latitude and blue lines for longitude, just so that it's easier to see the difference. Okay, so let's start with the degrees. We are looking at latitude. So the latitude lines are the flat lines and we can see at the top corner of our map, it's given to us 14 degrees. Okay, then minutes. Sometimes the minutes are not given to you on the map. You might be given 40 minutes and 45 minutes, but you might not be given the ones in between. If you're not, you just put them in sequential order. So you know after 40 comes 41, 42, 43. Okay, so we can see that A is exactly in line with 44 minutes. So that will be our minutes. And because A is exactly on the minutes line, we don't have any seconds. It's not any further south or east or anything like that. We are on the minutes line, so we don't have any seconds. And remember I said we always need six numbers. So we're going to have zero, zero as our seconds, and we always put a direction. Okay, so that is the latitude. For longitude now, we have exactly the same thing. We find our degrees in the top corner. So we have 27 degrees. A is on the 16 minute line. And again, because it's on the line, we don't have any seconds and we have our direction east. Okay, so that would be for A. If you want to pause the video, we're going to do B next. So you can see if you can do B on your own. Okay, so for B, we now again look for the degrees in the top corner. So latitude first, flat lines, 14 degrees. And then we are on 42 minutes. And again, because it's on the line, we have zero, zero seconds and direction south. And then again for longitude, let's turn on the blue lines. We have 27 degrees in the top corner and B is on the 19 minute line and zero, zero seconds. Our direction is east. Remember, it's important to put those little units, the degrees, minutes and seconds, and it's always important to put a direction. Okay, so those are two very simple examples. Those ones are the position is exactly on a minutes line. But most of the time, you're not going to get something like that in a test. You're going to get the position of a random object in the middle of the block somewhere. So we're going to go and look at two examples of those. Okay, so here we can see that we have C and D, and they are both somewhere in the middle of the block. We're still using the same grid and the same numbers and everything. We are going to zoom in to block C and you can see that it's between 41 and 42 degrees, sorry, minutes and between um, 18 and 19 minutes for longitude. Okay, so we've zoomed into block C. We can see that there's 41 minutes and 42 minutes for latitude and the 18 and 19 for longitude. Okay, so let's start with latitude and we can put it in our formula. We have 14 degrees. Remember that will be in the top corner of your map. But for now, I just wrote them next to the grid so that it's easy for us to see. So we have 14 degrees and now we are between 41 and 42 minutes. So when we are writing coordinates, we always go with the first number because C is still within the 41 minute block. Okay, we're not, we haven't passed 42 minutes. Remember for the direction we're going south, if we're moving down, we haven't passed the 42 minutes yet. Okay, now for seconds, remember we said that there are 60 seconds in one minute. 
So within this minute, there is 60 seconds. For the seconds on um, coordinates, you don't have to be 100% accurate. We are just getting an estimate. You do have about, I think it's about five seconds leeway either way. So what we're going to do, instead of dividing this block up into 60, because that's going to take forever, we are just going to find estimates in between. So you're going to take your ruler and your pencil and you're going to divide the block up into sections. So we're going to divide the middle. That would be 30 seconds because that's half of 60. If we half the top part, half of 30 is 15 seconds. And then the bottom would be 45 seconds. Okay, so now we can see that C is on the 45 second line. So that would be our next part of our equation. And we put the direction south. Okay, and we do exactly the same for longitude. I'm just going to erase those so we have we can see better. So now our degrees we find in the top left hand corner, we have 27 degrees. It's between the 18 and 19 minute mark. We don't use 19 because it hasn't passed 19. C is still within the 18 minute block because we're moving east. So we have 18 minutes. And now for the seconds, again, we're going to split up our block. So in the middle, we have 30 seconds. On the outside, we have 45 seconds. And then 15 seconds. Okay, so we can see that C is on the 30 second line and that would give us the direction east. Okay, so that's C and we've just zoomed into this block, but remember you are working with a whole big map. So we're going to go back to C and D on the map and there we can see how we would work out C. But now I'm going to show you how to work out D and I'm going to keep the block like this just so that you can see how you would actually do it on the map. Okay, so we're going to look at the latitude first. Again, we get the degrees in the top corner. So for D, we would have 14 degrees. It's between 43 and 44 minutes. So we are going to use the 43 minutes because that is the one that comes before. It hasn't passed 44 yet. And now for the seconds, what I'm going to do is, like I said, show you how you would do it on the map. So you're going to take your pencil and your ruler. You're going to divide your minute block into those three sections, four sections, sorry. So you have 30 seconds, 15 seconds. This is much easier to do on your map when you actually have a ruler to see how close the lines are and everything. And 45 seconds. Okay. So now we can see that D is around the 45 second mark. It can be a little bit lower, um, closer to 60. So remember, this would be considered 60 and this line would be zero. So it's just over 45. We can even say about 47 seconds and then direction south. And then we're going to look at the longitude. So now we look at the top corner, the blue. Um, let me turn on these blue lines to make it easier. So now we have 27 degrees. We have, it's between 17 and 18 minutes. So we used the one before 17 minutes. And then we're going to look at our seconds by dividing up the block. So I'm going to start at the top just so that I know where I'm looking. Because remember, I want to know which minute block I'm working in. Okay, and I don't have to go all the way to the end of the map because you might have lines all over your map then. But just to the block that you're working with. So we have the middle line is 30. The one before would be 15. And the one next to would be 45. Okay, and here we can see that the dot for B is before 15 so it's between 0 and 15 kind of in the middle so 
half of 15 is seven and a half. So let's say about eight um, seconds. But remember, we always put a zero in front because we need six numbers for each direction. If you have a unit from one to 10, or sorry, one to nine, then you always put a zero in front of it. Okay, so that is how you would work out position coordinates. Remember, you always have something degree, something minutes, something seconds south, something degree, something minutes, something seconds east, if you are working with a South African map. I hope this video was really helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if you do have any questions or if you have any other specific topics that you'd like me to go through. I will be doing more map work um, over time, but if you do have other topics that you'd like me to cover, I'll prioritize those first. Remember to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video.